At 20 minutes, let's talk through all your questions. Botox, filler, natural filler, hair, skin treatments, skin assessments, microneedling, microneedling, uh, laser, hydrofacial. Let me know questions. These are some of my patients. I try to get on here and highlight the real results that you're going to see. These are patients we've done in my office. I'm Janelle. I'm a cosmetic nurse practitioner. I've been injecting Botox filler for the past 13 years. Um, and these are the faces of people we see in our clinics. So I can go through and tell you what these patients have done. We focus on seeing all skin types, all skin tones, um, and really getting patients natural but profound found results we want it to look like themselves but just look fresh that is the patient's goals and that is what we we achieve every day um, my two clinics are in los angeles i have a team of nurses and nurse practitioners that i train and they also perform these treatments so we can start at the top and talk about our patient here um, she came in and we did something called facial balancing that is where we are assessing your full face looking at your features um, and how they are harmonized or how we can make them more harmonized help you look the most refreshed version of yourself she wanted to um, make the tip of her nose go a little bit more upward and camouflage the bump so we did this over two sessions we also did under eye filler on her you can't fully appreciate it from this view but she was complaining of volume loss sunkenness under her eyes so we did filler there we wanted to balance she wanted to balance her upper and lower lip ratio so we did a little bit more filler into her upper lip and then we elongated her jawline by using filler into the chin to help balance her full cheeks we did a little bit of cheek filler but to balance her like naturally full cheeks nose lips and support it with some filler into the chin um, so this is done over two sessions we did these about six to eight weeks apart results like this are going to last up to two years and maybe even longer so when the patients come back at that point to do more it's not like their fillers all the way gone it's just they don't have the same exact structure definition contour they see as like when it's fresh Okay, this patient here came in. She wanted to camouflage under eye volume loss, hollowness, the under eye bags. Um, so we use filler. We can also use the all natural filler underneath the eyes. So that's the one where we draw your blood from your arm. We spin it in the centrifuge um, and then we take out the platelet rich fibrin. We heat it and we inject it. There's growth factors there that'll help stimulate new collagen in the areas that it's injected. So you can do that underneath the eyes or you can use filler. Um, and she did her her lips a little bit into her cheeks and then her chin again to balance as we go fuller on the lips I know a lot of people are like, lip filler lip filler we want to make sure if we go fuller on the lips that the surrounding area support so sometimes we're softening the corners this is like Sujia here I and mean, you guys might see her on social media we soften the corners like the shadows sometimes we're putting filler into the chin to help support the lower face and the fuller lip um, Someone said, if I use fat, I don't use fat in place of filler, but we can use the all natural filler. Again, that's one where we draw your blood, we spin it, we, we take out the growth factors and we inject those. Um, let me know other questions. Okay, Sujia here, she and I have been working together for a few years. We have also done facial balancing. So this is where we're assessing the full face. Um, she naturally has nice cheekbones. She was noticing a little bit of flattening in through the mid face, so we've done filler there. She initially came to me for lip filler. We did that a few times. I said, Sujia, look, it looks like you're getting lip filler. I, I want to make sure that we can soften the shadows as we've gone bigger on your lips and support the lower face. So we've done filler into her chin, into the corners of the mouth. When we do it into the chin, it elongates the jawline. It helps to camouflage the jowls. So we have a fat pad right here that will keep sinking as we get older. So it camouflages those. And we've done lip filler on her and then Botox. So the goal is to always make sure it looks like the patient. That's the goal. We do this stuff in stages over time. Let me make sure I'm not missing any questions. If you have questions, let me know. Let me see. Um, how long does it last for the under eye downtime and cost? So filler under the eyes, I tell patients last up to two years. A lot of people get longer out of it, but most patients are going to, you know, they're at least going to get a year and a half, two years out of it. Um, you want to make sure if you're doing under eye filler that you are a good candidate for it. So filler under the eyes or all natural filler is where people feel like they're sunken, hollow. They're noticing volume loss under the eyes. Filler won't take away fat pads. We all have fat pads underneath our eyes. Some people stick out more than others. You can see a little bit of hers. Um, 
if those fat pads cannot be taken away we can just camouflage them with the filler or the all natural filler if you want them taken away if you want them tightened that's a surgical thing so i encourage people know your options um get consults and see what's right for you and downtime with this you can see she has like a little bit of redness right here that can be a bruise i tell patients give themselves like a couple weeks of maybe bruising if you follow the pre and post care instructor instructions that we offer the patients that do they're like oh i didn't bruise or it was so minimal i covered it with um makeup the next day um swelling is going to be like two to three weeks and then it takes six to eight weeks for your product to fully settle so here's a patient six to eight weeks after um her filler is completely settled we did under eyes we did cheeks we did smile lines we did lower face shadows like Sujia, we did the chin so it looks like herself but it takes six to eight weeks to fully fully settle um, i do offer video consultations i like to virtual consult everyone before they come in so we can go through questions goals tips on what to expect how to prep for treatments um, we have a lot of patients that come from every single day i'm in clinic somebody has flown from out of town a lot of our patients find us from social media we specialize in facial aesthetics at my offices at Janiel beauty aesthetics um, and we really work on all skin types all skin tones there's not a lot of people that treat skin of color and so that is something we specialize in uh, let me make sure i'm not missing other questions yes somebody said is that sujia and that is her and we've been working together for a few years okay so i talked these two had like similar treatments um when i'm doing this i'm really considering what's happening to your face underneath the skin where we're losing volume where our fat pads are separating where they're sinking where we're losing bone um and how we can recreate some of that volume loss but still make it look true to you i don't want stuff looking overfilled i don't want stuff puffy i don't want stuff looking unnatural undone i don't want every face looking the same i really want our patients to look like themselves look like the freshest version of themselves and the patients that come to find us and come to see us they want the same and you can see these are their results so this patient here uh, sorry in the bottom um she came to me for um botox into her masseters our masseters are our jaw muscles right here for clinching and grinding so she was saying i clinch and grind my teeth i have headaches i have jaw pain she was also noticing that because she was doing that clenching constantly like using these muscles constantly working them out this muscle was getting a little bit wider she's like my face looks like i've been gaining weight but I'm not gaining weight. I just don't know why my face looks like I'm almost like a, a, I think she described like a chipmunk or a squirrel or something holding nuts. She's like, that's not, I, this is a different face shape for me. So we did Botox here to treat her symptoms, the clenching, headaches, grinding, jaw pain. Over time, when we relax that muscle and it's not flexing so forcefully, that's what Botox will do. It'll relax the muscle so it doesn't flex so forceful. It can slim the lower face. So this is like six months later, we had done two sessions. So we went from more of a square jaw to more of a V shape. Um, and so that can happen. The slimming of the jaw can happen over time. So some people are trying to do this for aesthetic purposes. A lot of patients are trying to do it because they clench or grind their teeth. They have jaw pain. Um, but I also just want to highlight that because Patients tell me all the time, this treatment is life-changing. They're like, I can go to work, I can go to school, I can function normally. I'm not waking up with headaches, I'm not waking up in pain. And so that is a very powerful treatment that we do, that patients love. Typically lasts about three to four months and then you're going to do your next one. The slimming effect, you'll see gradually, like two months in, as that muscle is not flexing so forcefully. Um, but like with the second treatment, this is where you can start to see, like it happens just a little bit more. Um, it also is going to help protect your teeth so you're not breaking teeth okay this is a patient i've been seeing for a few years as well and came in for under eye filler and botox we also got him on um, laser skin treatments and our skincare is lovely patient um and you so this is what i was telling you we can't take away the fat pads we all have them but we can camouflage them some by bringing the surrounding skin upwards we want to make sure you're a good candidate for it people that are not candidates for under eye filler are ones that me they get really puffy they're like oh i wake up i'm always puffy oh i have bad allergies my eyes swell oh um i cry a lot anyone that's retaining a lot of water around their eyes not a good candidate for under eye filler with hyaluronic acid you can consider doing the all natural filler i'm going to go through questions in just a minute so um we use hyaluronic acid to camouflage the fat pads you can see he still has the eye bags they're just not as apparent they're um because the skin underneath it is brought up. So it helps the under eyes just look brighter um, because we're not getting that shadow from it being sunken in. And then someone said, oh, it's not me for, yeah, under eye filler. You wanna make sure if you're doing these treatments and you can see I have like 
thousands of photos of my patients online on our, we make videos all the time patients make their own videos highlighting the results and the experiences but you want to make sure if you're doing these that you are a candidate like the right candidate for them don't rush the treatments make sure you're seeing somebody that is very skilled in it somebody that treats people that look like you that's really important um, that you like the results you can see the reviews you like the reviews that's really important um, I am in LA I have two offices in LA and let me see someone said I, I don't know if I saw your questions can you let me know can you re-put it the question um, this Botox for the jaw yes helps tightness in the jaw so sometimes people come for jaw pain, they're clenching, grinding their teeth. Sometimes they may have pain in their temporalis muscles or temples here. Both of these, if you put your hand there and bite down, you can feel it flex. Both of those are chewing muscles. So sometimes we're treating the jaw muscle and the temple muscle. If you're complaining of clenching, headaches, grinding, jaw pain, um, Botox will relax the muscle so it's not flexing so forcefully. And it'll help relieve those symptoms. It can slim the lower face over time if this muscle's not constantly bulking up. So patients really like that. And then they're just like, yeah, I don't have headaches. I'm not having pain. Um, I'm not breaking my teeth. I've seen a lot of people that have broken teeth, have cracked teeth. Um, you know, they're getting dental implants and their dentist is like, hey, you're grinding down your teeth. They do this and they say this is like the one thing that helped them. A lot of people have been using night guards. A lot of people have used, um, you know, muscle relaxers, massage, acupuncture. And they're still saying that they're clenching, grinding their teeth, having jaw pain and this Botox here into the masseters and sometimes temporalis really helps um, relieve their symptoms okay let me see these are my clients yes these are my patients thank you like I said hundreds of photos on our page if you go to my main profile you can click through on on all my social medias like I try to put the before and after so you can click through I have videos explaining what we've done I have videos talking about how to prep for treatments what to expect with the treatments we have the patients giving their um, insight on the treatment and what the healing time was like I really like to educate people I want our patients to be involved in their treatment planning so we develop a treatment plan we really listen to your concerns your goals your lifestyle you know we treat everybody I'll see somebody that is like the top OnlyFans person and then I will see a priest and the next person so they may have very different goals um i need to know your story i need to know what's going on maybe you're prepping for a wedding maybe you've lost a bunch of weight you're noticing changes in the face all of those things play a factor in your treatment plan okay let me make sure i'm hitting these questions okay okay um someone says how much does this cost so it really depends on what you're doing when we're doing stuff like full facial balancing like a lot of these people up here it can be like five to seven thousand dollars over a few sessions and so sometimes people will come in and just be like i want to do my full face and we do everything we hit like the upper face and the lower face the mid face all at once and then i'll see them back at six to eight weeks to like fine tune other times people will say like i want to start with you know my main concern is my lower face or my under eyes so we'll start with that making sure we keep in mind that we have to assess the full face we don't want to just spot treat so when people just do something so sometimes people are like i just want my lips and that's totally fine but if you keep just doing your lips this is a conversation suji and i had like after a few times of just doing her lips i was like suji like the lips are starting to dominate the lower face like the lips look good they're hydrated the shape is beautiful but like the corners of the mouth are downturned the chin was set back i was like this doesn't look natural this looks like you've had your lips done and i don't want that i need to make sure we can consider the full face when we're doing these treatments so that you look the most natural if we're only spot treating and just doing one part of our face if we're only like highlighting one area of our face that's where things start looking unnatural that's where you know people are staring for too long and i can kind of tell you've done something because it looks off because that's the only part of your face that looks fresh i don't want that for our patients i really want it to look like you natural refreshed our whole face is aging so we need to make sure we're considering the full face when we're doing these treatments and again what you have going on what's your lifestyle you know are you prepping for something everything um someone said they look amazing thank you this is just some of the patients we have hundreds thousands of photos of our patients and i'm so grateful for the patients cons uh, consenting to share their photos and their stories um they make videos we talk about what we've done i'm always trying to educate you know the public about these treatments i know a lot of like botox and filler gets very villainized and I'm like it doesn't have to be like that i want to show natural looking results they look like themselves they look fresh i'm not trying to make every face look the same that is not the goal i want it to look like you my patients want to look like themselves this is something they do that's for them they're not trying to impress anybody else but they're like hey like she was telling me she's like i just felt like the outside wasn't matching how i felt on the inside 
that's what we're trying to do for the patients just help them feel and look them their best selves we do have financing um for treatments so some people will do that where it breaks it up into payment plans that is um they find that really helpful let me know other questions you have i'm trying to make sure i'm not missing question missing anything um okay one thing oh so i don't have a picture on here but i should include it is we have all natural filler as well and we have so this is where we draw your blood from your arm. We spin it down in the centrifuge. We take out the gold part. It's platelet-rich fibrin. There's growth factors in there, stem cells. We heat that up, and then we can inject that in the face. So you, if you don't want to do filler, you can do the all-natural filler. You can do it in the same spots. You can do under eyes. You can. I've done this. I'm breastfeeding now, so I can't do filler right now, but I'm doing the all-natural one. I've done under eyes, cheeks, smile lines, corners of my mouth, my chin, my temples. I've done these areas with filler in the past and I love it um, I also because I can't do filler right now I'm doing the all-natural filler so that is one that's going to help stimulate collagen that is one that again made completely from you um, we can also do that where we take out those growth factors from when we spin your blood and we can inject it into the scalp so we do this for hair growth and I need to include a picture on my next live or I'll do some videos about it but they're on my page as well so it stimulates um, hair growth at the follicles so for patients that are thinning or losing hair we do it at the hairline you know they're noticing their hairline receding for guys that are like starting to bald here we do it um, for my ladies high traction hairstyles bre uh, braids weaves um, like anything really tight and pulling that are noticing hair loss they have seen great results with that um yes sujia and i can talk about what we've done we've been working together for a few years we have done cheek filler smile lines corner of her mouth um lip filler chin filler botox everywhere and she has been amazing in like making videos and sharing her journey and her story and also to my other patients shout out for doing that we're really trying to just help highlight different skin types and different skin tones in aesthetic medicine because i don't feel like this gets highlighted that much i'm always trying to show diversity in medicine um so there and we're just trying to help educate a lot of people tell me i found you on social and because you showed other patients i saw somebody that looked like me and i've never seen somebody that looked like me on any of these other aesthetic you know profiles i saw someone that looked like me and i heard their story and that's what brought me to see you so that's what we're trying to do show real people show their results sometimes i will like um do lives and show their selfies if, pa if patients send me their selfies and they look so good and they're feeling fresh and even when i see them from one visit to the next like you can tell the confidence level and just like the excitement in their eyes and they hear little comments like did you did you change your hair did you get new makeup did you go on vacation oh i got carded when i went out that's the goal that's what they tell me they're hearing it's not who's your Botox girl? I need to go see her. That's not it. Um, they're not hearing those comments, but they're saying people can tell like, I just look fresh. Like I don't, they don't know I've done anything until I start telling them, oh, I did filler underneath my eyes, into my cheeks and my smile lines and my lips and my chin. And they're like, no way, you can't even tell. And then they show their before and after photos and it's a dramatic result, but it still really looks like them. That is always the goal. That is what we're pushing um, in my office, uh, making sure it looks like you. Okay, what about lack of collagen in hands and feet? Okay, so you can do collagen stimulators. So th these are a lot of these people are done with hyaluronic acid fillers. I also use biostimulatory biostimulatory fillers. So that those are different things like Sculptra or Dilute Radius, or you can do the all natural filler. Draw your blood, spin it down, take out the growth factors, inject it. Um, yes, that's Sujia, and um, those will help your body stimulate new collagen in the areas it's in injected patients really like that it is a little bit longer to see the results so it's not super quick and instant whereas like with the filler you can go in you're going to see the skin lift and you're going to see pretty quick results the collagen stimulators are going to take a little bit longer because we're waiting on your body to make new collagen in the area it can take like six weeks up to six months for the full results of that and with the collagen stimulator still plan for anywhere from like two to four treatments six to eight weeks apart someone says she looks amazing she looks refreshed that's our goal we've done this over a few years um 
cheeks, smile lines, corners of the mouth, lip filler, chin filler, Botox. Uh, we have made, we did a documentary recently together. I don't know when it's going to air, but we did it for the Rolling Stone. And we were talking about the treatments that we have done, why we did them, how she feels about them, how she, like, she's like, nobody knows I've done this stuff besides when I make the videos. And she's like, when people, when she makes videos talking about the things we've done, they're always like, oh my gosh, I never would have known you did anything. You look like yourself. You look so fresh. That's the goal. Uh, okay, someone said this picture, we can talk about what we did here. Facial balancing. We're assessing the full face. So she wanted to straighten her nose bump and she wanted to lift the tip up. So with filler, we can do um, along the nose, we can highlight we can create like a highlight down the center, a contour down the center. We can camouflage a bump of a nose. We can lift the tip. Um, we can help to make the nostrils not flare as much. We can soften the little lines if you scrunch along the sides and you want to soften those. So there's a lot of things that we can do with nose filler that you can really like surgical looking results quite often without having to go under the knife and you can see the results right then and there so she did her nose we did under eyes a little bit into her cheeks she wanted to also balance her upper and lower lip ratio so we did some filler into her upper lip and then we extended the jawline by adding filler into her chin softened the shadows around the lower face kind of like here and here so on somebody younger they're not the shadows here are not going to be as deep as profound as somebody when they're getting in their 40s 50s 60s um, but we can still see them in our 20s and 30s where it just starts to make a little bit of shadow you know we lose volume at the sides of our lips our lips start to kind of turn downwards so we're putting small amounts of filler or the collagen stimulators are they all natural filler to just help um, soften those transitions is filler permanent so the ones that I do are not permanent there there is a the uh, permanent filler on the market called Bellafill that is FDA approved. I do not have that one. Um, so these can be broken down. So if the patient is like, I hate this, which people aren't saying, but just so you know, you can dissolve the filler. Also safety considerations that I like to educate my patients and make sure they're informed on before we do these are just with filler or any of these injectables, we wanna make sure we're not blocking blood flow off when we do them. So our body has blood vessels all over our face, all over our body. We wanna make sure when we're doing filler, we're not putting too much in that blood can't flow like normal. So when we're doing injections, what I'm looking for is that your skin color is normal. You should not have any extreme pain. You should not have any vision issues. If you had one of those signs, it could mean somehow we are impairing blood flow. Somehow we're blocking blood flow and we would need to break down the filler so that blood can return to normal. So all these things you can dissolve. Um, I've never had to dissolve anybody for any emergent reason, any filler, any part of their face. So it's really rare. However, you want to make sure that if you're going to a place that they are equipped to intervene, if they need to, they know how to intervene um, and they know what to look for. And you are informed on what to look for and aware of these rare risks. So you can take action if needed. Again, super rare, but we want to be mindful of it. For my patients that come from out of town, every Every single day somebody flies in and I appreciate you I ask that they stay in town for a day in case we had one of those rare instances where we had to uh, dissolve the blood dissolve the filler and make sure blood is flowing I've never had to do it ever but we just want to be careful okay uh, let me get through these pictures best look I had no idea she had anything done thank you that is the goal like we don't want it to look like you've had anything done but we've done a lot of stuff over time uh, what is the pain on the lip injections I want it but I'm so nervous so lips are one of the more um, more like spicy areas here the tip of the nose those areas are just more sensitive when I do injections I put the needle I use like the smallest needle so the ones they give us in the filler box I don't use those those are kind of big I use like really really thin ones I give you an ice stick I have a medical assistant in the room with us they tap your shoulder it distracts from the pokes um it doesn't take long to do like it, it's really like five to ten minutes to do the injections um there is lidocaine so that's a numbing agent mixed inside the filler so that helps to numb up the area as well patients do it they tell me oh yeah it's uncomfortable but they're like it's not that bad it's quick and they always come back because they want to do more my goal with lips or anything that we do is to make sure it looks like you it's not overfilled so we do it in stages i want to maintain your lip shape i don't want to do so much that is puffy around the border that's not it i know you guys have seen overfilled lips or when people say migration a lot of times when these people are saying migration they really shouldn't have been putting filler there they're putting too much in a spot that it can't fit um okay let me make sure i'm hitting all these Okay, let me see. My face shape is oval, my temple area being the narrowest part. Our filler is used to plumb this area. Okay, 
I have really hollow temples too. I just did the all natural filler here. Um, yes, you can, I have done everything in my temples. I lose a lot of volume. So not just me, a lot of people. As we get older, we start like our skull, we lose bone here, we lose fat, we lose volume. Our, our um, skin start, it kind of like starts looking a little bit more curved. You can even see like some of this shadow on me, like looks a little dipped in here. So we have done filler, I've done filler, I've done all natural filler, I've done collagen stimulators through here um, because I naturally have full cheeks I have to you know make sure that and sometimes what happens is like people will get cheek filler and their cheeks are really full but above and below it's hollow so it looks like skeletonized that doesn't look good but yes um, five foot ten inches I'm five nine um, you can do filler or collagen stimulators in that area it makes like such a beautiful result it brings highlight here um, it helps to extend the highlight along the cheek so it looks brighter here it also gives some support along the brow so it looks a little bit like I don't want to say it's pulling back the brow like surgery, but there's some support here where it looks brighter when you do temple filler or all natural filler or collagen stimulator. Every time I do it, I get comments like, oh, can your mom come sign for this package? I'm like, dude, I'm 36 years old with three children. My mom, let me go grab her so she can sign this package. Um, I have been stopped by at my son's school. Somebody thought I was a high school student and she was yelling at me that I need to get in class. I was like, ma'am, I'm here to pick up my sick child. So like temple filler does make a difference. Um, I really like it and I feel like I wanna do more because this is where I like lose a lot of volume. Not just me, a lot of people. And a lot of people don't think about that area. Um, high chance that nose filler can cause blindness. Some uh, five ten. I'm with you, girl. Okay, so this is what I was talking about a few minutes ago about making sure we're not blocking off blood flow when we're doing filler anywhere in the face. So this is where we don't want to use high a lot of all. Sorry, there's like a sound. We don't want to use high volumes of filler in any one spot. So that's what we want to make sure. We want to make sure you don't have extreme pain, no vision issues, skin color is normal when we're doing filler. Anything weird, dissolve the filler. I've never had to do that. I've been doing this since 2013, so very rare. Um, but still, we want to be mindful of this. The blood vessels in the nose run behind the eye. So I'm sure if you guys videos online, it's like if you do nose filler, you're gonna go blind. It's not that you're gonna go blind. There's just a higher chance because the blood vessels here run behind the eye. We don't wanna block off blood flow to the eye. Make sure if you are getting nose filler, you're going to somebody that does this a lot. They can show you the reviews. They are equipped to intervene in case of an emergency. Do they have dissolver on hand? Do they know what to look for? Are they able to intervene if they have to? Um, if minoxidil use is stopped, does the hair fall out? It's just minoxidil won't continue. You won't continue to have those benefits of the hair growth. Um, we do. We have a whole hair health program in our office, um, led by one of our dermatology nurse practitioners. Um, this is where we are doing combination treatments. So sometimes we're doing prescription medications, supplements. We're doing red light therapy. We're doing the all natural injections where we draw your blood, we spin it down, take out the growth factors, inject it to help stimulate um, hair growth. We have scalp facial so we really have a lot in uh, most of the patients are doing multiple things with their treatment plan we have to go i'm gonna have to get off this phone in a second i have to get my baby um it, it really helps and just know it takes time to see the full results okay um someone says my cheeks are a little hollow also i know so it's like we lose volume here we start losing volume from our under eye in through our cheek, we'll get a line. Our smile lines get deeper. The corners of the mouth get deeper. Our chin starts to set back. This is all happening as we're aging. This gel, this fat pad keeps sinking, sinking. It makes a little gel down here. Um, this happens over time as we age, as we're losing volume. We can start seeing like signs of it in our 30s and it just keeps getting more and more as we get older. So small amounts of filler in the right places. Don't rush the treatments. You can do collagen stimulators. You can use the all natural fillers as well. I love these. Um, you wanna make sure, don't rush it. Like it can look natural. It doesn't have to look like these overdone, crazy looking things that we're seeing online or in the streets. Like that's not it. That's not the goal. These things, like you wouldn't think she's done a bunch of filler in her whole face and she's done a bunch of filler in her whole face and she's done a bunch of filler in her whole face and her face, that's the goal. Like, and I've done a bunch of stuff in all these people, but you wouldn't know that's the goal every time we're doing this. Let me see if I have any last. Sculpture, I like. Um, I also do dilute radius. I'm gonna have to go. Someone said, come to Texas. Okay, I've been working on getting my Texas and my New York license so I can practice there. I get women and men 
from out of state, out of country every single day. I get a lot of people from New York and Texas. Um, so maybe that's going to be up next. I also want to just continue to like train providers so that it's not just me doing this. I want, I want other providers being able to like help serve diverse needs of patients. Um, okay. Let me, I have to jump off. My baby's crying over there and I got to take him to doctors. I appreciate you. I will jump back on soon and I will post this one. If you have other questions, leave them on my videos. I try to make videos um, answering all the questions. I do virtual consults with all our patients before they come in. My team and I see our patients, like I said, natural aesthetics, diverse faces, like that's what we go for. Um, we really want our patients to feel informed and empowered and a part of the treatment planning. Um, we want you to be educated and we develop a treatment plan. So it's it's not just like a, hey, I did your face in Psia. It is, I've been working with her years, years. Like I've been working with these people for a long time. That's the goal. We, as you continue to age or you're getting ready for something big or you change weight or whatever is going on, I just wanna be a part of your journey. I wanna help you be informed. We've got skincare, we've got skin treatments, laser, microneedling, we've got uh, facials, we've got injectables. We've got hair, hair health programs. So, so many different things here to serve you. I will talk to you soon. I appreciate you. Bye.